In the modern world, things are always changing but there are things that never change. Here is the reality, a man should be able to handle himself no matter what the situation is, and there are skills every man needs to master no matter what times we live in. Some people are going to watch this video and think to themselves it's toxic masculinity, it is understandable. We are suffering from a pandemic of weak men. They have been brainwashed to believe that men and women are the same. In this video we will go over 5 skills every man needs to master in life. Number 1. Knowing how to fight. It doesn't matter if you are a businessman, a doctor, or a comedian, if you don't know how to fight, you lack masculinity. Getting into street fights is something everyone should avoid but that doesn't mean basic fighting skills should be avoided. Let's go over a situation that could happen to you, one day you walk down the street with your wife and some guy walks by and slaps her on her butt, what would you do in a situation like this? You can't rely on calling the police because you will not stand around and wait for them to arrive, you could decide to ignore it completely but you would lose your woman's respect and your own self-respect. No one should be able to put their hands on the people you love and care about without consequences. It would shock you, how many men in the modern day were to choose to ignore the situation and try to rationalize why they didn't do anything. One of your duties as a man is to protect your people, by ignoring a situation like this you have sacrificed your own honor and have given up your role as a protector. Listen closely, never start a fight, but you might find yourself in a situation in which you have no choice but to defend yourself. That being the case you best know how to serve up a good old knuckle and as quickly as possible by throwing a knockout blow. Open your opponent up with a few fakes and once he drops his guard, send a powerful straight punch right to his chin, however, if you do it wrong you'll hurt yourself more than your opponent. So don't fool yourself and pretend you can fight actually learn how to fight. Number 2. The Ability to Defuse Conflict This skill directly follows up on knowing how to fight, regardless of how strong or masterful you may be in the art of fighting, you should always try diplomacy in escalating situation. Knowing how to simmer tempers down or break up a fight makes you a leader. It's like when all the male gorillas stop their shenanigans when the alpha male gorilla walks in. The alpha male can keep other male gorillas in line, the ability to defuse conflict can only be truly mastered by the person that can also be dangerous. This is why knowing how to fight and the ability to defuse conflict go hand in hand. Number 3. Have a strong presence. Have you ever noticed, some men have a strong presence, a presence that when this man walks in the room he commands respect even without saying a word. What if I told you it's not some magical gift these men have, but it's actually a skill that can be learned? You see this presence is an accumulation of many small things and habits. You need to be a strong man with a firm handshake, look people in the eye when you talk to them and walk with your chest out. When you make eye contact with another man you nod your head and acknowledge them. The truth is that charisma is a learned behavior, a skill to be developed in such the same way that we learn to walk or practice vocabulary when studying a new language. Now, I will say that a lot of guys fake these things and it never works, everyone recognizes a faker. The guy who squeezes the hand as hard as he can or he steers people in the eyes to try and intimidate them, don't be this guy. The best way to learn this skill is to surround yourself with real men, look at what they do, learn from them. This could be your own father, a mentor you have or other men such as men you know from a fighting club. Fighters are often the most respectful and peaceful guys yet they command respect and carry themselves well. Number 4. Deep Critical Thinking The ability to think deeply on a range of topics will help you to become a much better conversationalist. It'll also give you the mental faculty to improve the overall quality of life and make better decisions. The first step to critical thinking is to consider more than one point of view. As I always say on this channel don't believe everything you're told but also don't believe everything you think you know. 
It's easier said than done but critical thinking requires you to leave your own opinions and biases at the door and embrace other information. Just because you've always done something a certain way doesn't mean it's the right way, question your assumptions and beliefs. Be open to considering different points of view and the validity of other arguments, you might just learn something new. Number 5. Being good with your money. Arguably, the greatest letdown of schools, universities, and colleges is the lack of financial education. Most guys go through life having no clue as to how to actually treat money, make good financial decisions, and set themselves up for financial freedom. We are raised to believe that you have to have a job where you earn a salary nothing more than that. If you can start shifting your financial mindset then you can start making changes for the better, a famous finance book that helped a lot of people and forced them to look at money from a different perspective is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, start learning about money as soon as possible. This is a crucial skill for life. And as a bonus tip, learn to manage stress. How you manage to handle stress and your success in life are directly linked. The man who panics and crumbles under the pressure will never outperform the man that is able to stay rational and think critically during hard times. Stress plays a part in everyone's life, as a man you will get more and more responsibilities in life and that can become stressful, many stressful situations in life arise because we procrastinate, if you find you are always doing things last minute or you're often rust and feeling like you are trying to catch up. Chances are you procrastinate, so take control by writing out everything you need to do and the deadline. Just the act of writing out your list can take it out of your head and help with your stress levels. Look at the list and decide which things are urgent and important. Give each task your full attention until it's completed before moving on to the next most important item on your list. Soon you will be doing tasks in a proactive mode rather than a stressed reactive one. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button, share the video with